from that three view model. Um, and what this is is also the same as this, except this one is one and one eighth inch smaller. So when you come over here, see these guides in here and there. If I were to get this sheet of paper, lap it over here, that would fit inside here. Now the reason I'm doing that, the reason I have my Dremel tool is because um, I did a project over the weekend and uh, I kind of got to thinking, hey wait a minute, what if I um, use my Dremel tool to cut out my, my formers? my midsections to the fuselage so I was like you know something um, when downloaded uh, plans to a plane really quick and I used the DC-8 the uh, 6370 series and so uh, I just earlier I graphed out really quick maybe about half a day a few hours to get some simple measurements going on just to see if this would work so uh, what I'm gonna do next is um, we're gonna cut this out out of foam what we're going to do is we're going to put this edge here and we're going to go all around this edge following that leading edge there and when it's done we should have this piece we'll put this back over here a piece of foam that should be exactly this shape and size Alright, so here's the plan. There's our template. We got two stacks. When we run the, um, let's put that like this. I'm going to take it outside really quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run the Dremel tool around it, and when we should be done, we should have this. So uh, let's see what happens. Alright, this is definitely an outside job, but uh, there it is. I ran the, um, the Dremel tool. On the first cut the bit wasn't that low so I have to go back readjust this little level here to get the bit a little lower so you can cut down to the second one but you can see the second one right down there. Um, it is a very messy I never cut foam this way and it's very messy but uh, there's the results so let's check this out here. Excuse the man. Uh, I think it's something. Let me pause this really quick. See here, I'm not sure we got a what I basically did is I already cut out this um so we're gonna peel off this piece and you can come back and sand the edges, get them real nice and pretty. As you can see in the first shot I missed the um the bit was a little too high. It wasn't low enough, so I kinda got that groove in there. So, but I mean, that's just going back and you can sand this out. So I took a, another pass at it. And, you know, I think it's just practice. With practice, I'll get better at it. But I get, if I get the blade low enough with one, one shot, she get it all the way around. But we'll take the mold off. Uh, and this is, remember, this is up. I'm just going to put an arrow here. Remind us that this is up. And, um... You find that piece of paper. Get this guy here. And look at that. Bingo. Oh yeah, this 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 will work. It's a lit, it's right on the line at the bottom. I can't see the other side. But I'm sure when I'll review the video it'll be there. Those two nails need to get the mark. Here's the mark of this line. That was unintentionally. And On the money, look at that. That's great. So that that would be it right there. That's right on the line. You can see the line right there. Dang, one sixth, not even that. One sixteenth of an inch, but it's right there. So that would be it right there. 
Um, if you want, you could probably cut it down the middle, put a slab in the middle coming this way, one piece of bunch to the top, or put a bunch of these coming out this way. Maybe just cut a little circle here, a tube or a square, and just whatever the end user may want to do. But um, just sand them down. That's it. We got some formers for uh, this is for a DC8, 120th scale. All right, so that's what we call uh, for those guys who you're like me, you don't have a CNC machine. This is what you call a DNC for Dremel or a DOS NC. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for watching.